You're watching St. Louis's Newsroom. This is coverage you can count on. Well, bed bugs have been invading U.S. cities. Are the insects dangerous? And what can be done to keep them out of your house? An expert has the answers next. Well, what you're looking at there are bed bugs. Those blood sucking insects have feasted on sleeping humans for years. Bed bugs were mostly eradicated after World War II with the use of DDT, but the bugs returned when the toxic pesticide was banned. Well, we first started hearing about problems with bed bugs when they invaded hotels in New York City, but those insects are now crawling all over the country. But bed bugs are found in all 50 states more common in urban areas than rural ones. So with that, April Simpson now has a live guest with some expert advice on how to deal with them. April? Well, Elliot, the risk of encountering bed bugs increases if you spend time in places with high turnovers or of nighttime guests, such as hotels or hospitals. President and owner of US bedbug bedbugs.com, Adam Greenberg, joins us now. Thank you so much. Why are bed bugs so hard to get rid of? They hide so well, that's the first thing. So most people don't even realize that they're dealing with bed bugs, that they're in the hotel room or that they brought them home. So they're multiplying very rapidly mm -hmm. and you have no idea. And during that time, you could spread them to many other places, your work or other hotels. So that's why they're, they're growing so fast. Is there something in particular that attracts them? Yes, they're attracted to us. They, the human. Blood, the human, that's it. They feed on mm -hmm. us like a, like a tick, mm -hmm. like a mosquito. They don't fly though. Um, so they prey on us when we're asleep. They wait till we're sound asleep. That's when they come out of their hiding places. They feed for five or 10 minutes and then they go back to sleep. Ew, okay. Yeah. So tell us about some of the stuff you have here. Okay, well the most important thing is you don't want to bring them back into your home. Right. And one of the most popular ways people bring bed bugs into their home is from traveling. Mm -hmm. They go stay somewhere else, whether it's a hotel or a hospital or a friend's or family's house. And there's some really basic things you can do to help uh, prevent bringing them back with you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first thing you want to do is inspect the bed uh, wherever you're staying. Right. And just a basic little flashlight and magnifying glass, you can look around mm -hmm. the edges of your mattress or, uh, near the headboard and you're mm -hmm. looking for black spots that the bed bugs leave behind. If you're looking, you're gonna, you, could see, you will see those. What are the black spots? They're, they're fecal spots. Is it poop? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And it, so <laughs> it kind of looks like mold spots though when you're mm -hmm. looking for them. Okay. It's rare to actually find the bugs because again, they're going to be hidden in the walls in the box spring. Right. Difficult to spot. Then what you can do is you can put your suitcase in one of these bug zip protectors mm -hmm. and it zippers around your whole suitcase, very easy to travel with, very easy to get into, in and out of your clothes right. while you're staying and you're keeping everything locked up. Mm -hmm. If it's zipped up, the bed bugs can't crawl into your suitcase, they can't come home with you. Right, that's good. And so what all do we have over here? The linens and stuff? Yeah, because your people are at risk, uh, whether they go to work or wherever they mm -hmm. go, you do want to take some precautions at home. You don't want to wait until the bed bugs are already in your home. Mm -hmm. And some basic things you can do at home is you can buy mattress and box spring encasements. Mm -hmm. These go around your whole mattress and your whole box spring. Most people forget that they forget to zip up their box spring. They think of only the mattress. Right. Well, they crawl across the mattress, but they live in the box springs. Ew. So you want to prevent them from, from nesting inside the box spring. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's some very simple home monitors you can use around your bed. There's three different types I'm showing here. One that goes under the feet of the bed, one that goes on the headboard, and one that goes in between the mattress and the box spring. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what type of bed you have. They all range around $20 per bed, so it's very economical. It's a, it's a quick insurance policy. Therefore, if you bring bed bugs home, now you can check these monitors and see if they're really there, and it's gonna tell you before the problem gets out of control. And we know that they can cause severe allergic reactions. Do they transmit any diseases? No, they're not known to transmit any diseases so far. Uh, certainly, uh, the biggest problem with bed bugs is financially. Getting rid of them costs thousands of dollars uh, at times. And uh, the emotional stress. You're not able to sleep for months and months at a time. You're right. never really sure if they're gone. And then you're, you're at risk of transferring them to your kid's school, to your workplace, mm -hmm. to other places you go. So it's something you want to detect quickly. You want to call a professional once you see signs of bed bugs and get it taken care of right away. So that's your best advice for keeping them away? I exactly, yes. All right, we well, thank you so much. Elliot, what do you think about all this? Do you have bed bugs? Well, I hope I don't have bed bugs. I guess I don't know, but I don't think so. That's some good advice there. Keep us thinking on our toes. Thank you, guys.